Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Board. Without you guys, this literally does not work. I mean, seriously, it does not work. So, you know, these are trying times for all of us right now. You know, people are going out, panic shopping, trying to get everything that they need and stuff to get ready to hunker down and to make sure that if we can't leave for days on end, that we have what we need, and hopefully we can try and slow down this virus that's going down. Now, I, I do have to put, um, excuse me, sorry, put one person on blast here. Q, Q. So Q is on Marco Polo, me and Jet. You know, we've got our lines, so we kind of send messages and things back and forth. And Q was out, you know, like everybody else, out trying to get supplies and stuff. And he had said that he only has four rolls of toilet tissue. And he was out and went to one place and there was no toilet tissue at that place. And he went to another place and he was out on a hunt for toilet tissue. And it was kind of fun following along. And then Q stopped off and he got some burritos. And he shows me, man, look, I got me two burritos and look at the hot sauce. You see the seeds up in the hot sauce, man? Man, these some good burritos. But I'm kind of like, if you're not finding toilet tissue, you might want to stay away from burritos. I I'm just thinking you might, you might want to stay away from burritos. I'm just saying. But anyway, it's trying times. Try not to panic, okay? Take a deep breath, okay? Just go out, do the best you can. Understand these are going to be trying times. So, tomorrow I'll be headed back home, and I actually can't wait to get back to my man cave and my house and the dogs and Michael and everything else in my workshop. But the voting for the 2,000 or so NFL players is about to end for the CBA. Thus far, there's no word. We've been told, you know, by Roger Goodell that the NFL league year will start on time, which is the 18th. It's the beginning of free agency, technically. Free agent frenzy starts on the 16th, which is Monday. We know that the franchise tag deadline is 11.59 on Monday. So, that's what we're told. Now, what we're also told is that the NFL and the NFLPA are going to meet tomorrow um, after a verdict is known from the CBA. So I'm assuming that we won't hear anything tonight when polls are closed. Although, it's all done electronically, so it seemed like they will know tonight if it does or does not pass. The, um, I have a feeling that it will pass, and they'll have labor peace. Um, going forward... It seems like we're, we've heard so many different transactions that have happened today that it seems like they are going to go, like they're saying, they're going to go with the league year beginning on the 18th. So they're going to discuss what to do. That could change. Yes. Okay. Um, just need to grab my wife's phone. Um, that could change. And it could end up being moved out. Although the advantage for the NFL is we're not actually talking about the season starting right now. It's basically the off-season workouts, which are really two months away. Um, it's basically taking care of the paperwork. Now, they're not going to be able to do um, team visits. They're not going to be able to do workouts with the, you know, the facilities and things like that or send scouts out to look at players. But you can sign free agents. You can you know, make your game plans. You can do a lot of this stuff electronically from wherever you are so at the moment it does not look like it's going to change we'll have to wait and see if it does or doesn't um, i don't think it will because of the amount of activities that have already transpired you've seen teams like the minnesota vikings going through and releasing players to free up cap space like they're going to try and jump into free agency and grab a paid player or two you're talking about trying to extend Kirk Cousins before the free agent period starts. So that way they'll free up more cash. So from that standpoint, we're seeing a lot of teams, with the exception of the Dallas Cowboys, who have only tendered, who have only tendered Blake Jarwin and Cooper Rush. That's it. That's the list. So 
this funny couple of weeks just got a little funnier. I don't know what to tell you, but we'll see. We'll see how it's all going to work out. I'm Mark Holmes, and well, I'm going to stay up for a little while and see if we happen to hear anything, but I'm figuring we just are. I will see you guys first thing in the morning before I head on out of here. Hopefully, we won't have too much snow to have to try and go through here. Everybody, please stay safe, and I'll keep all of you guys in my prayers. I'm Mark Holmes with Cowboy Joe Boo, and we'll see you here in the morning.